And you better answer that. Yes, I suppose I should have. Hello? John George Norman Hyde. This is Superintendent Wheatlock here. Sorry, wrong number. It was the wrong number. Oh, oh, oh whatever. Oh, I've, had, I've been playing with that wrong number thing for a year. I never forget when I was uh, in Ale, Ale, uh, Alex, um, Ale, Alexander. You know, I had one of these machines, this telephone, where they went, you, you know, they were thinking, um, uh, Bunny, you just help yourself, will you? Oh. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. No. That was the police. Police? On the telephone. What did they want? Well, they asked for you. I rang off. Well, let's take a look around. You try the back, I'll go upstairs. <laughs> Superintendent Whit uh, Whitlock to see you. Thank you, buddy. Here you are. What's this for? Oh, no, no, no. You misunderstood me. I, I mean, this fellow... Uh, we... Uh... If you think I'm going without you, you're very much mistaken. I don't argue. This way, one of us has still got a chance. I'll stall them off as long as I can. At any rate, you'll get a head start. Oh, come on, this isn't the time to do a bow chest. Oh, I'm not going on your telephone, you know. Just a minute. Oh, yeah. For the last time, Peter, will you get the hell out of here? That's an order. No. The rules don't apply anymore. Major Race, I said that's an order. All right, Colonel. If that's the way you want it. Give them their money's worth of the trial, then flog your memoirs to the Sunday papers. There's always an angle. That way. Now, look here, Norm. I mean, it's none of my business. I mean, you've got this fresh first. Yes, yes, all right. Danny, I'll answer it now. Yes? Yes, this is Colonel Hyde speaking. Thank you, I am aware of that. There's just one thing I'd like to know. Who betrayed us? No one betrayed you. Just his name. That's all I want to know. Purely for the record. I'm telling you, nobody did any betraying. I can't accept that. All right, Colonel, for what it's worth, the name of the person who led us to you is Billy Miles. I don't know anybody of that name. Billy Miles is the eight-year-old son of a caretaker who lives in East Cheap adjoining the bank. He collects car numbers. And he happened to spot the number plates on the furniture van. M-O-W-872. And that's a Southampton registration for private cars. It's all very interesting. But what is it supposed to prove? On its own, nothing. But do you remember a young copper at your warehouse? He was pretty green. He didn't know as much about number plates as the kid. But he did know enough to make a note of the van's number. And the number of your own car standing in the yard. That's your traitor, Colonel. Your own car. Now look, sir. I'm afraid if you don't come down here within five minutes, we shall have to come up to the house. That won't be necessary. I'll come to you. Anything wrong, Norman? Can I, can I help? No, Bunny. It's a long story. And you're going to bore people to death with it. 
Well, if you're ready, I'll walk you a part of the way home. Well, I, I really don't understand it. <laughs> I really just arrived. Uh, what's up, Norman? Is the party over? Yes, buddy, the party's over. The drink and the luck ran out. It looks, Bunny, as if you'll have to make a night of it. All present and correct, sir. At ease, gentlemen. Somewhere, are 